The Greek philosopher Heraclitus is credited with saying the only constant in life is change. And over the last few years I've been struggling to figure out what to do with Surface Studio and with this YouTube channel. And I think what's been making it so hard for me at the core is my resistance to change. I'm not good at pivoting or adapting, and I don't mean that in a bend any way the wind blows sort of way, but in a considered long-term way to making the most of the weather. Life fundamentally changed for me when we had a child, complete upside down in the most amazing sort of way. And life has actually been changing way before then, it's just that the change was so gradual that it was easy for me to ignore. I've just been marching down the same path in the same way, with the same foot by foot mentality. And my only efforts really to break out of that cycle was to walk harder. Lately, I've been trying to slow down a bit, simply live and enjoy life take a breath and trying to lift my eyes off the ground so that I can actually see where I am right now and where I actually want to go. Now, as you can tell, this is not going to be a tutorial. I want to talk a little bit more about things that are going on behind the scenes and stuff I'm trying to figure out, especially given how different life is at the moment. Now, there's actually a ton of stuff I'm really excited to talk about. For one, I've got a whole bunch of cool new gear, like the Osmo Pocket 3, which I've purchased last December and I've been using pretty consistently all the way through. I'm loving it. Rode has also sent me the Rode Wireless Pro, which is a 32-bit wireless audio solution. And again, I want to get into that and make a video on that as well. And there's a ton of cool new gear coming out all of the time. I'm obviously still excited about video post-production, like video editing, visual effects, 3D and motion graphics. And there's tons of cool stuff happening in that space that I'd really love to talk about. Another area of interest, particularly for me, because I do work in IT, is AI, especially in the creative space. And yes, I know there's a ton of controversy around everything still. The technology is jumping ahead so fast that it's catching people completely off guard and the laws for protecting copyright and everything aren't actually yet in place and neither are all of the safeguards to make sure that all of this new technology advancements are actually helping the human race rather than creating Skynet and dooming us all. On a less gloomy note, I've actually been developing an app and that's mainly because I'm cheap. I've always wanted an Elgato Stream Deck to be able to have a bunch of macro keys set up that I can you know, simply fire off to open up all of the folders I'm working with or launch all of the apps or execute macro keys for video editing, visual effects or 3D. However, because I'm into music production and creating my own music, I've got Innovation Launchpad, which is a grid pad of buttons essentially. So I figured I'm pretty sure I can write an app that allows me to essentially assign macro keys to all of the buttons on my launchpad that then allow me to open folders, launch apps, execute shortcuts, or do whatever else I want to do. Now the app itself is pretty much in an early working version. I'm just trying to figure out how to build the installer for Windows and for Mac so I can actually release it online and share it with everyone else and get some feedback. And if that is something that you're interested in, I'm going to drop you some links down below the video once all of that is ready, but I'll also make a dedicated video for the tool once it's actually available and on the software developing side, crossed over with my nerdy love for video games, I'm still working on my own video game that I started a little while ago and I made a dedicated video for that. Again, I'll link you that down below if you're interested. I'm still working on it pretty slowly, especially after the whole Unity licensing PR fiasco that they all went through. I'm still keen to use Unity because it is the most mature platform that I can easily access and leverage. I just go with a license that doesn't fall into the new terms, although I don't think I'd ever really make enough money out of it to you know, qualify for that per user licensing course that they've introduced in the later versions of Unity. But that project is still going on, it's just on a super low burner, so I'm really progressing that at an absolute snail pace at best at this moment. But I do try to remind myself that everything changes and I really want to enjoy what life is like right now. I don't want to wish it away or wish it to go faster because it's never going to be this way again. And I actually feel really grateful and really lucky for everything I have in life and where everything is at. I just want to make sure that I'm also looking far enough ahead so that then rather than taking one step at a time looking at my feet, I can actually see where I want to go and where I want to take Surface Studio in the long term. And that's all I have for you today. If you would like to support me, please hit that like button, that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.